In this video, we're going to use a portable cutthroat flume to measure stream flow. We'll start by looking at our equipment. Pictured here are a two and a four inch flume measured at the narrowest point, a level, and a shovel. These flumes come in one inch, two inch, four inch, and eight inch sizes. Here's the two inch flume folded out on the ground. The wing walls will go up upstream and again that two inches is that narrowest point. Each of the flumes has a gauge on the front here and on the back and these are used to measure the depth of water. All right, today we're going to use a basky cutthroat flume to try to measure the flow in the stream. Um, this is a pretty low flow stream right now because it hasn't rained recently. Um, and so I have um, a four inch flume this refers to the width at the at the neck right here. So this is a four inch one. Um, this stream could probably use a two inch or a four inch. Um, the four will be a little bit, might be a little bit too big. The other equipment that I need with me to do this are just a level and a shovel. And so I'm just gonna undo the, the bungee cord that's holding this together. And the concept here is that we want all the water that's flowing through the stream to flow through this, which means we need to pack mud under it and around it to ensure that all that water is going through it. We then measure the depth of the water on a gauge that's on the front here, and that correlates to how much flow. In terms of what's upstream and what's downstream, these wing walls will go upstream to help you direct all the flow through it. So I'm going to start by preparing my spot. I've chosen a location that's at a transition between a pool and a riffle, um, which means that there's some natural drop. Um, and so I'm going to try to install it right here at the bottom end of this pool before I get into the riffle. So I'm going to start out by using my shovel to repair the site. I'm going to move this vine out of the way, clear some of the leaves. some of the clay and the soil from the bank here to create a little bit of a base for myself first. And then what I'm going to do is use this base. My helpers are getting in the way right now. Could you please move? I'm going to use this base to work my flume down into the water, but with a pack below it, with my wing walls up. So I'm now going to use sediment um, and clay from the banks to start uh, really installing this flume. Um, one of the key things that we have to do when installing a flume is work to make sure that it's level front to back and from side to side. So I like to check it every once in a while as I go and adjust. So right now I'm just packing behind the wing walls to ensure that all the flow is going through my flume. I have a little bit of sediment that ended up in my flume, so I'm going to just clear some of that out. I'm going to check for level again. Right now with this setup, it looks like I have all the water in this channel going through my flume. So if this is level, then I can let it stabilize. Oh, don't put any, don't put any sediment in it. All right. All right, so it's level that way. Level that way. Leave it. Can you take this? Thank you. All right, we're going to make sure that there are no obstructions coming out the back of the flume, and we're going to let it stabilize for a minute. Now that our water level stabilized, we can read the reading on this front gauge, which will correlate to the flow. So this is 0 0.05 feet. For quality assurance and quality control, we check to make sure several things. We want to make sure that 
the water level in the back is less than half the water level in the front, which ensures that it's free flowing. And we wanna see that we have free flowing water out of the back. So you can see in the sunshine here where our flow lines are kind of crossing. We want that because that shows us that we're having this free flowing behavior out the back and no pooling. So again, this is a four inch basky cutthroat flume installed to collect all the water that's going through this channel. It's level side to side and front to back. And we read the, the gauge reading on the front end. And we need that for quality assurance and quality control to be twice the depth as the back end. To calculate the flow based on our depth, we either put in our depth and our throat size on one of these two charts, or we use one of these equations if our depth isn't on that. For our stream today, our depth equates to 0 0.005 cubic feet per second or 2.33 gallons per minute. And that's how we use a flume to measure stream flow.